Each year, British homes produce more than 30 million tonnes of waste. That's like filling a swimming pool with rubbish every 90 minutes. In this country, we use 12 billion cans each year. That's enough to stretch to the moon and back. But more than half of our rubbish could be recycled, and other countries reuse twice as much as we do. If we don't stop, we'll run out of space and pump out so many fumes we'll struggle to breathe. Well, here at Kent Community Recycling, we are doing something about it. Kent Community Recycling started more than 20 years ago and more than 1,000 people come here each month to recycle things they've used, such as drinks cans, aerosols, biscuit tins, cardboard, foil, clothing, magazines, paper, tins, plastic bottles and glass. Look at the beautiful countryside we have round about us here, lovely green and pleasant land. Unfortunately, the resources in the, on the planet are running out and we have to save the resources for the future generations. Our generation and past generations have wasted, been greedy and used up a lot of the resources. Each of these pallets contains 72,000 cans. If you put them end to end, the stack would be higher than Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain. And each year we recycle nearly one and a quarter million cans, or 18 Everests. Recycling an aluminium can saves enough energy to power a 60 watt light bulb for three and a half hours. And once it's recycled, it can be part of a new can within six weeks. If all the aluminium cans sold in the UK were recycled, there would be 14 million fewer full dustbins each year. But it's not just cans that have aluminium. So how do you tell if something has aluminium that can be recycled? Well, one way is our scrunch test. If it can't be recycled, it will spring back like this. But if it stays like this after being scrunched, then we can recycle it. The aluminium foil recycled here is made into window frames and door handles, as well as parts for car engines and aeroplanes. And here's some more recycling facts. One recycled can would save enough energy to power a television for three hours. One recycled glass bottle would save enough energy to power a computer for 25 minutes. And recycling just one plastic bottle saves enough energy to power a 60 watt light bulb for six hours. In Britain, we use nearly 15 million plastic bottles each day and each one can take up to 500 years to decompose if it's thrown away. The ones we recycle here save enough energy to produce 1.1 million carrier bags, or 180,000 two-litre bottles. To recycle, you're saving energy and saving the resources at the same time. And we've just all got to think about it. All the human race have got to think about these things because resources on the planet just won't be there in the future. The average British family throws away six trees worth of paper every year. Each tonne of recycled paper can save 17 trees, 380 gallons of oil and 7,000 gallons of water. 70% less energy is required to recycle paper compared with making it from raw materials. And think about all the trees that would stay alive. Glass that is thrown away and ends up in landfills will never break down. How do we know that? Well, glass made in the Middle East more than 3,000 years ago can still be found today. Here we recycle 150,000 glass bottles each year. And some of it goes on to become works of art. At her workshop in Kent, Annie Begley makes these amazing creations. It's just a fantastic material that um, I just love working with because you could stretch it as far as you like, really. I mean, the start of this project here with this bird 
is going to be on the side of a building, so you can imagine that's going to expand and that's a tiny piece of it. The exciting bit is when you get some sticky stuff, which can be uh, something called tile and grout, and you just push it onto the board, and when you've done that, you just start working and um, placing the chips onto the sticky stuff and push it in nice and hard and about six or seven hours later that miraculously is all dry and finished. And that's not the only use. Fern Alder is one of the country's top garden designers. It's obviously important that we don't waste the Earth's resources and I feel great to be able to use recycled bottles and glass in this way. I've been using the recycled glass um, to top pots, uh, to make paths, and generally to make everything look pretty and sparkly. So why wouldn't you want to recycle when it does so much good? And here's one fantastic fact to finish with. At Kent Community Recycling, we save enough energy each year to make 14 million cups of tea. And if you want to find out more about recycling, you can visit our website at www.kentcommunityrecycling.org.uk.